from the world's longest suspension bridge over the Dardanelles Strait in Turkey, and a bridge in southwestern China that's so tall it stretches into the clouds, to a mega project in France that makes the Eiffel Tower look like a children's toy, and a bridge over the Yangtze River that is so massive it's hard to believe it's real. Here are 10 of the largest bridge mega projects in the world. The Yangtze River is China's beating heart. It is the longest river in Eurasia and the third longest in the world, behind the Nile and the Amazon. It generates about 20% of China's GDP, and its basin is home to roughly 400 million people, about one-third of China's population. Sooner or later, the Yangtze will also be home to the world's longest road rail cable-stayed bridge. Upon completion, the Changtai Yangtze River Bridge will be 6.4 miles long. It'll connect the cities of Changzhou and Taixing in Jiangsu Province, becoming the only Yangtze crossing to incorporate expressways, intricate railways, and first-class roads. In this footage from February of 2023, workers focus on building one of the main support columns that'll eventually hold the bridge up. As the drone camera moves to a side profile, you can see how massive these structures are. Look how they almost disappear as a dense fog rolls over the river. Portions of the bridge are already shattering world records. The Tianxingzhou Channel Bridge, a smaller part of the main structure, set the record for being the largest steel trust arch bridge to combine highway and railway. It's worth noting that this stretch of the Yangtze isn't over six miles wide. The bridge itself is more like a raised highway between two major cities. On its way from Changzhou to Taixing, it'll travel over other districts and across the Yangtze. Imagine driving your car 1,104 feet off the ground. That's like driving over the Eiffel Tower or passing through the observation deck of the Empire State Building. There was a time when humans thought cars couldn't go that high. Engineer Michel Virlogeur proved them all wrong. With help from an English architect named Norman Foster, they built the world's tallest bridge over the Tarn Valley near Millau, France. The Millau Viaduct stands 1,104 feet tall. It's over 8,000 feet long and required 127,000 cubic meters of concrete, 19,000 tons of steel, and 5,000 tons of steel cables to build. Assuming a major catastrophe doesn't destroy it, the bridge should last until the year 2124. Construction began on December 14th of 2001. After workers laid the first stones, they pivoted toward the project's first major leg, seven support piers, all measuring different heights. Builders chose one of the deepest, widest, and windiest valleys in France to build their mega project. Apparently, it's the only spot anybody could agree on. The uneven terrain forced them to build pillars at different heights to keep things even. They range from 255 feet tall to 800 feet tall. Now, building the pillars wasn't easy. Workers used a giant mold to build them in sections. Pouring and drying the concrete for each section took three days, effectively raising the pillar by 13 feet. So, the tallest pillar, at about 800 feet, took them about 60 days to build. The bridge itself is divided into eight sections measuring between 669 feet and 1,122 feet. Those sections carry four lanes of traffic as part of the A75 motorway. Fun fact, the A75 is the least congested and cheapest route between Paris and the Mediterranean Sea. As of 2024, the Mio Viaduct is the tallest bridge in the world by eight feet. It opened to traffic on December 16th of 2004, about a month ahead of schedule. It has since become a tourist attraction for those visiting the Mio area. While the Mio Viaduct is the world's tallest bridge, it's not technically the highest. That honor belongs to the Beipanjiang Bridge, connecting the provinces of Guizhou and Yunnan, China. Also known as the Duge Bridge, part of its road deck sits a staggering 1,854 feet above the Beipan River. It's part of the G56 Hangzhou Ruili Expressway between the cities of Chujing and Liu Panshui. The Duge is a cable-stayed bridge, not to be confused with a suspension bridge. 
With cable stayed bridges, the towers bear the full load with cables attached directly to them. With suspension bridges, the main cables ride across the towers. The Golden Gate Bridge is among the most famous examples. The Duge Bridge stretches about 4,400 feet from end to end. Construction began in 2011 and wrapped up on September 10, 2016. In 2018, it secured the Guinness World Record for the world's highest bridge. Before the Duge Bridge, it took commuters five hours to drive between Liu Panshui and Xuanwei. Thanks to the Duge, the journey can be done in two hours. Of course, building such a bridge didn't come cheap. According to Chinese news outlets, the Duge costs 1.023 billion yuan, or about $140 million. In April of 2012, Chinese builders completed what some called an impossible task. They officially opened the Yashi Expressway, a $3.3 billion bridge and roadway project consisting of 270 viaducts and 25 tunnels. This M-shaped bridge and motorway links the cities of Ya'an and Xichang in Sichuan province. To reduce the bridge's environmental impact, builders used a spiraling technique to carve through the mountainous terrain. It's that very terrain that led some to call the bridge the most difficult in the world to build. Workers didn't have the best geographical conditions to work with. The area, like much of China, is highly earthquake-prone, so each section had to be able to withstand a powerful tremor. They also had to hope one didn't strike mid-construction. In the five years it took to build, workers had to overcome gas leaks, water spouts, and rock falls. But, as they say, nothing good comes easy. While it was difficult to build, the expressway should help boost economies in historically underdeveloped regions of Sichuan province. Some call the Yashi Expressway a highway to heaven. That's because, for every kilometer, the road ascends about 7.5 meters. You're always climbing up into the clouds during the 149-mile journey. March 18th of 1915 is an important date in Turkish history. On that day during World War I, the Ottoman Empire won a decisive naval battle against the Allied forces of England and France. In March of 2017, construction began on a 15,000-foot suspension bridge over the Dardanelles Strait to honor the battle, among other more practical reasons. It would become the only link between European Turkey and Asian Turkey outside of Istanbul. It's called the 1915 Çanakkale Bridge. Clocking in at 15,118 feet, it is the longest suspension bridge on Earth. It stands over 1,000 feet high and cost roughly $2.7 billion to build. The Turks have wanted to build a bridge over the Dardanelles Strait since the 1990s. Designs were proposed in 2012 and again in 2014, but nothing got off the ground. Then, in 2016, the Turkish government finally landed on something they could agree on. Construction began in 2017 with the goal of completing the bridge by September of 2023. Normally, incompetence causes delays with these types of mega-projects, but that wasn't the case for the 1915. In fact, they were so efficient that they were able to push the completion date up to March of 2022. The 1915 Çanakkale Bridge ceremoniously opened to traffic on March 18 of 2022. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan cut the ribbon himself. The bridge is full of symbolism dedicated to the World War I naval victory. Other than its name and opening date, the 1915 Çanakkale is exactly 318 meters tall, or just over 1,000 feet. It's the longest suspension bridge in the world by about 100 feet. Upon opening, the 1915 was expected to carry 45,000 vehicles across the Dardanelles Strait each day. It's part of the planned Otoyol 6, or the O6 motorway. When built, this highway will span 199 miles, starting in Malkara, Turkey, going over the strait and ending in the city of Balakasir. According to President Erdogan, the bridge and highway will save Turkey $458 million each year in fuel consumption and carbon emissions. Now, the Duge Bridge in China might not be the highest in the world for long. 
That's because the Huajiang Grand Canyon Bridge in Guizhou Province is nipping at its heels. Expected to be completed in 2025, the Huajiang Grand Canyon Bridge will become the highest bridge in the world. At one point, the bridge deck will sit 2,050 feet above the canyon floor. Instead of driving 70 minutes around the canyon, locals can cross it in 60 seconds. This footage from April of 2023 shows workers building the two main towers. Imagine standing up there and looking out over the Chinese Grand Canyon. It must be absolutely breathtaking and terrifying at the same time. Workers completed the two main towers in early April of 2024. Now all that's left is to build the 4,600-foot road deck between both ends. Fun fact, Guizhou, China is home to nearly half of the world's tallest bridges. The mountainous landscape makes them critical for connecting Guizhou with the rest of China. The Hong kong zhuhai macau Bridge, also known as the HZMB, is a 34-mile behemoth in southeastern China. It consists of three cable-stayed bridges, four artificial islands, and an underwater tunnel. It is simultaneously the world's longest sea crossing and the longest open sea fixed link. The HZMB significantly reduced travel time between Hong Kong, Macau, and Zhuhai. What used to be an hour-long ferry ride is now a 40-minute trip in your car. Construction on this $18.8 billion project began back in December of 2009. It was supposed to open in late 2016, but several delays and controversies pushed the project back until February of 2018. It officially opened to the public on October 24th of 2018, with President Xi Jinping attending the inauguration ceremony. However, the phrase, open to the public, should be taken with a grain of salt. The government in Hong Kong imposes tight restrictions on private vehicle ownership. In a nutshell, it's not easy to own a car in Hong Kong. That's why some people were upset when tax dollars went toward building the HZMB when not everyone could really use it. Many workers also got hurt during construction. Rough estimates claim upwards of 600 people suffered some type of work-related injury. Nearly 20 people lost their lives during construction. There's a reason the project became known as the Bridge of Blood and Tears. But despite all the setbacks and controversies, the HZMB successfully cut travel time between Zhuhai and Hong Kong from 4 hours to 30 minutes. It used over 400,000 tons of steel, which is enough to build the Eiffel Tower 60 times over. The record for the world's longest bridge belongs to a 102.4-mile railway viaduct on the Beijing-Shanghai High-Speed Railway. It's called the Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge, and it's among the world's greatest architectural accomplishments. Firstly, the world's longest bridge only took four years to build. Roughly 10,000 builders worked between 2006 and 2010 when the bridge opened. The Chinese government spent roughly $8.5 billion to bring this project to life. The 102-mile road and railway crosses over lowland rice paddies and many canals. It follows part of the Yangtze River Delta and features a 5.6-mile-long stretch over the open waters of Yangcheng Lake in Suzhou. According to reports, this lake crossing is supported by 2,000 pillars and miles of steel cable. On average, the Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge stands about 100 feet off the ground. It was built to withstand many of the natural disasters that plague coastal China, such as typhoons and powerful earthquakes. It also helps alleviate railway congestion between Shanghai and Nanjing. Other than high-speed trains, the bridge also features two lanes for vehicle traffic. For 24 years, the Akashi Kaikyo Bridge had the longest central span of any suspension bridge in the world. Then, the 1915 Chanakale Bridge in Turkey beat it by about 100 feet. Still, that shouldn't take away from how impressive the Akashi Kaikyo is. Built in 1998, the 6,532-foot suspension bridge connects Kobe, Japan to Iwaya on Awaji Island. It is a critical stretch along the Kobe Awaji Naruto Expressway and passes over a busy part of the Akashi Strait. Before the bridge, ferries brought people back and forth across the strait. 
However, the waters are extremely dangerous. They're known for gales, heavy rain, and other natural disasters. Several sinkings have claimed hundreds of lives over the years. Thankfully, nobody has to worry about that anymore thanks to the Akashi Kaikyo Bridge. The bridge is nearly 13,000 feet long end to end. The central span, or the part that matters when world records are involved, is 6,532 feet. Meanwhile, the two ends measure just over 3,100 feet. Builders had natural disasters in the back of their minds when they built this bridge. It can withstand winds up to 178 miles per hour and survive an 8.5 magnitude earthquake. The entire thing can also expand up to 6.6 .6 feet in the event of extreme heat. Now get ready because we're about to do a little bridge math. The Akashi Kaikyo Bridge was built in 1998 for about 500 billion yen, or roughly 3.6 billion dollars. Japan charges a 2,300 yen toll to cross, which is about 15 dollars. On average, 23,000 cars drive over every day, so you're looking at about $345,000 a day and $126 million in tolls each year. Assuming all goes well and that there are not millions of dollars worth of interest accrued, the bridge should be fully paid off in 2026. On November 15th of 2009, the Sudu River Bridge in Hubei Province, China opened for traffic. At the time, the $100 million project was the highest bridge in the world. Then, the Chinese one-upped themselves with the Duge Bridge in 2016. Today, the Sudu River Bridge holds the record for the second highest bridge on Earth. Its road deck is 1,600 feet above the canyon floor. Look down, and you're bound to suffer from vertigo. The bridge spans just over 4,000 feet between what are essentially two mountaintops. Before 2009, the record for the world's tallest bridge belonged to the Hejigeo Gorge Pipeline Bridge in Papua New Guinea, which stood 1,200 feet off the ground. The Sudu River Bridge surpassed it by 400 feet. The Sudu is anchored on each end by massive H-shaped towers. The gap between the mountains was so wide that builders had to use rockets to shoot the cables across. The main suspension cables dip down similar to the Brooklyn Bridge. While they look flimsy, they can actually support over 43 million tons of weight. The Sudu River Bridge is part of China's G50 Huyu Expressway, the east-west route between Shanghai and Chongqing. It helped connect disparate parts of China that were otherwise cut off due to impassable mountains. Modern technology brought them back into 21st century China. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, be sure to click the link on screen now. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.